Hello everyone, in this Surf UI tutorial, we are going to learn about how we can create the new lowering screen along with a smooth transition for our home screen. Let's look at what we would be achieving after the end of this tutorial. So here we can see that a loading is being performed and let's see what happens after loading is completed. So after completing this animation, you can see the home screen appears with this very smooth transition. So let's look how we can achieve this. So here we are with a new empty Xcode project. Now let's start building the home screen first. In order to create a home screen, what we need is we need a logo, a text, two text field and a button. So let's start creating the home screen first. So we created a login screen and let's create a new struct and in the struct let's add v stack why v stack because we need to add logo then after that we need to add title and then we need to add text fields so they all are vertically aligned so for that we need a v stack so let's add a text and look if it's being rendered or not so after adding text we can see that we have successfully added a text in our home screen Next, let's add a background to our application by adding a Z stack. And before this login screen, we are going to add image for our background with ignoring safe areas. So here we have added a background. Here we have added a background image. Next, we are going to create our home screen. So first, let's create a logo and then add some styles to it with a resizable and a custom frame width and height. After adding a logo, let's add a text to it, space.app along with some styles. So here we have a text app name which is space.app. Next we are going to create two text fields for email and password. So here we have a text field with a binding value. For now, we are taking a temporary text, whereas we can take email and password for it to bind the values. So here we have created text field with our custom styles, whereas we have padding.horizontal to give the spaces between left and right. And then we have a clip shape in order to add a rounded rectangle. As you can see, the text field is being added as a rounded rectangles. Next, we have add a shadow using dot shadow with a radius of 10. Next, we are going to create one more text field. So here we have two text fields, one email, another password. Now the space between these text fields is very less. So let's create a V stack in order to add a spacing. We are going to put this, these text field into a new V stack. After adding these text field in a new V stack, we are going to declare a new spacing. And after adding, add, now after adding a spacing of 24, we can see that we have achieved some space between these two text fields. Now next we need to add a space between the logo title and these text fields. So we are going to put the logo and title in another, in, in another V stack. So let's create another V stack and let's add a spacing to our parent V stack. After adding a Spacing to our parent V stack, we can see that the spacing has been increased between this V stack and this V stack. In the end, we are going to add a button to our home screen, which is login button. And after adding login button, we are going to give style to our text and we are going to give style to our button, in which we are going to clip shape round rectangle. We are going to give background of green, foreground of white in order to get the text white then shadow of radius 10. So here we have achieved our home screen. Now next we need to add the loader and that animating logo. After the loading is complete, we are going to add a smooth transition to show our home screen. So let's go back to our home struct. So here we are with our home struct. Next we are going to add animating image. And in this image, we are going to add some styles. Resizable, the frame width and height. After adding frame of width and height, let's see how it looks like. So here we have added image, now we need to move it. In order to move, we need to add offset. 
So offset is basically a position in which our image is. If we are going to animate our offset on Y axis, it's going to animate vertically. And if we are going to animate our offset on X axis, it's going to animate horizontally. Let's declare move right toggle in which we are going to toggle it on a pair. And let's set offset on X axis if move right is true. So it's going to offset from 20 and then to minus 20. Now let's add animation dot ease in out with the duration. Repeat forever and auto reverse true with the value of move right. After adding animation, it isn't moving right now. Why is that? Because we haven't toggled the move right value. So let's toggle the move right value on a pair. After adding on a pair, let's set move right to true. Now we can see that it's being animated. It's moving right to left and left to right. Why? Because we have added dot repeat forever with the auto reverse of true. Now after adding animating image, we are going to add loader at the bottom. For that, we need a circle and we are going to trim that circle into half. So let's create a loader using circle. And we are going to divide the circle using crimp function by specifying start and end value. And now we need to rotate the circle. So in our, and in order to rotate, let's add a rotation effect of degree 180. Now let's add a stroke to it with a color and line width. Now we need to move this circle to the bottom. And in order to move it to the bottom, we need to put the background image and the circle in a 1Z stack. And then we are going to set alignment.bottom. So here we have added a background image and circle in 1D stack and we can see that circle is at the bottom. Although it seems like that circle isn't at the bottom but it is. Why we can't see that circle is at the bottom is because a circle is trimmed to a 0 to 0 0.5. If I'm going to change it to 1, it's going to add the complete circle. Now we need to add a padding bottom with a minus 228 to move it to the right place. Now we are going to add opacity in terms of percentage which will be used to hide it and enable our home screen. After adding circle we are going to add a percentage which is going to be incremented till 100 and after completing and after 100 it's going to show complete. Now let's add a styling. In this styling we have added a content transition to add that numeric effect and we have added foreground, style, foreground color to black. We have added a bold function and we have added opacity. It will hide once the percentage value is greater than 100 plus 2. Now let's increment this percentage number using timer function. And we have added with animation dot bouncy along with that content transition to make it look more cool. Number is being incremented but our, but our loading is not working as expected. Now let's animate the trim value. So we are going to add with animation dot ease and out with a duration of 16. But before adding in with animation, let's declare first. So here it is trim value. We have declared trim value and we have set trim value against the circle. Next, we are going to animate use it by adding a trim value to 0 0.52. Here the number is being incremented and our loader is also being animated. After completion, it disappears, but we also need to animate this image by setting its offset. So let's add an offset to it. We are going to add an offset of Y. Why? Because we have to animate this vertically. So after checking the percentage is greater than 103, it's going to animate vertically to minus 800. And we are going to add dot animation ease and out with the duration and value. Now let's see how it looks like. After completing the loading, it's being animated perfectly and let's animate that home screen. So here we have added our home screen but home screen is not being animated yet. We need to set it offset to positive y and then we are going to animate it to zero. So let's add an offset and animation effect. So the, its offset is set to 800 if the percentage value is less, but once it's greater than 104, it's going to be animated. So let's see how it looks like. 
So after completion of this loading, the splash screen will disappear and our home screen will appear. So we have used content transition, offset and animation to achieve this transition. You can add these transition to your application by simply animating the offset. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more lessons.